Welcome oh, back. Hey. Thanks so much for joining us. There's an event coming up uh, in Eureka Springs. We'll find out the dates on that. It's called Fleur Delicious Weekend. And here to talk about it is Eileen Powell and Teresa DeVito. Hello, ladies. Both from Eureka Springs, but Hi. you're originally not from Eureka originally Springs. Originally from New Orleans and moved up here about a year and a half ago. And this okay. is your brainchild? It is, and I came to Teresa and said, can we pull this together? We started off with a waiter's race. So you brought her Did into you? it. Yeah, we, and we started off with an idea of a waiter's race to uh, honor our service industry people who work there. A and waiter's what race? A waiter's so, race. Okay. Um, typically, around the world, you'll have a waiter's race that falls around Bastille Day, and it's to honor those people that work either in restaurants or as bartenders in the mm -hmm. service industry. And the race is a short race. You have a tray filled with water, and whoever gets to the finish line first okay. without spilling their water. We've got some great prizes from our sponsor, Grey Goose. Mm -hmm. And uh, that idea of the race blossomed into a four-day weekend festival. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. And it's just not, it's not four days of racing. Now, there's a lot of other events. We that have, go starting along with on it. Thursday morning, July 7th, is our kickoff at the Eureka Springs Farmers Market. Our mayor is going to be there to do a ribbon cutting ceremony. Chef Dave from the Grand Tavern is going to be doing a cooking demonstration using fresh produce from the farmers market. And we'll be having representatives from Raimondo Family Winery and Keels Creek Winery to have some wines to complement Chef Dave's cooking. Now that sounds like fun. How did, how did you come up with this, though? I mean, I know you, you, you have a story. Well, I, in New Orleans, I lived there for 50 years, and Katrina pushed my retirement up and pushed my move up here to Eureka a little bit. And growing up in a town that has festivals pretty much every day, every mm -hmm. weekend, mm -hmm. just thought, what could I do to give back to a city that I've fallen in love with, and what could I do to maybe give back to an industry that I truly appreciate? And a little selfishly, I like good food and I like good wine and wanted to have some fun. <laughs> well, there you go. And then, Teresa, and you're, you're co-conspirator, I guess. Yes. <laughs> so do you have... Anything you want to add, or should we just go ahead and yep, talk about? Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it happened. It just, uh, you know, crazy me. I said, yeah, sure, let's do it. <laughs> well, how did you go to her? Did you know her? I met Teresa about. I, I'm actually from Louisiana as well, yeah. Shreveport. Okay. So, so we had that connection, and then. Um, yeah, I just said, you want to have some fun, it's going to be a, a good ride, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. And again, it was a way to introduce myself to a new community that sure. I just mm -hmm. moved here mm -hmm. and to give back to a city that mm -hmm. I hope for many years will, you know, be a place that I love and will stay. Well, Eureka is well known for having uh, large events, I mean, festive events. Uh, how did you squeeze this in to a time of year yeah. when, the, when festivals are going on all, all summer? I looked at the city calendar and saw we had 4th of July and the weekend after is Fat Tire Festival and there was a slot right there that fell in and we got together March 22 this year, pulled some of the talking heads of the city together mm -hmm. and developed a four day festival in a couple of months time. Oh, I bet wow. you they love that, don't they? Any time to get people to come in. Absolutely. And we're getting tremendous support from the local community. A lot of businesses have jumped on board. And even though not every business may be a French business, they have found a way to create a French menu or to do mm -hmm. something that's mm -hmm. French themed. Mm -hmm. So has there been any French themed events in Eureka Springs other than this, this one? Other than Mardi Gras is kind of a French thing, but... Uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, however, my husband used to do the Taste of Eureka, which mm -hmm. was a big uh -huh. food event. And um, that they actually have uh, tents set up on the streets and you can go and sample food on the street. It would be really wonderful if at some point uh, this grew into a more of a street fair type right. situation yeah. where you could you know mm -hmm. go outside and mm -hmm. enjoy some food and the music everything like that so, yeah, but right cool. now you know you can just go to the different restaurants and bars and just see what they're ta you know sampling different menus and such mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's cool yeah. interesting and again july july 7 8 9 and 10 we start okay. with our farmers market that evening our artist who did our logo and our poster bob norman KJ of Caribe is going to be serving Café Olé and Beignets and do a Meet the Artist reception. And then all weekend you can try French menus and French wine and French uh, aperitifs at Stonehouse, Eureka Grill, Autumn Breeze, Cottage Inn, Grand Tavern, Crystal Dining Room, DeVito's of Eureka Springs. So a lot of restaurants have come mm. on board and developed something for everybody to come and enjoy. Now, is, this, is this strictly French cuisine or does it have a little Cajun mixed in with it? Well, the French um, had a lot of influence. Sure. So there's a little bit of Cajun, a little bit of French okay. Caribbean, a little French Canadian. So anybody that has been a part of any French heritage, they're welcome mm. to participate mm. and you'll get a little bit of taste of everything that the French have been a part of. Now, if someone comes in or is looking, do they, is there some place they can go to? You just mentioned the restaurants, but they may not 
be familiar with those that are participating? We, is there some way to know that? We do have a website, okay. which is FleurDeliciousWeekend.com. We're on Facebook under Fleur Delicious Weekend, Eureka Springs, okay. Arkansas. We have a list of our calendar of events that outlines okay. day by day, time by time. We have maps all over the city that they can pick up so they can easily locate. Eureka is very user friendly, very easy to get around. We don't have a stoplight anywhere and uh, we do have a trolley that goes around mm -hmm. so if someone mm -hmm. wants to park mm -hmm. and then take the trolley, just about every place that's participating is on the trolley stop. Okay. And folks can just go to the Chamber of Commerce and get a visitor's guide and that'll okay. get them around town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, that sounds cool. And this event is, I'm sure you want people from all of our viewing area to come in and enjoy it? Absolutely. It's just you, not a local event? It's not at all a local event. We've got people coming in from New Orleans. We've got people coming in from Oklahoma, from anywhere that you could drive or fly into. It's going to be a really good time that weekend. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of hotel space. Right. Plenty of hotel space, and uh, Grand Tavern is offering some specials with the Grand mm -hmm. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've got the Crescent Hotel. You've got a lot of our B&Bs that have all come on board. What they're doing is uh, serving some French roast coffee, doing some croissants, doing some French toast. Mm -hmm. So if they're they, in with the If thing. they do an aperitif hour, they're going to be doing some French cheeses and French wines. So, yeah, our B&B association is fully on board so people can come and stay and, again, immerse themselves in some French culture. Mm -hmm. So it's a four-day event? Okay. Three four day. Day. Four days. And you've got the, the waiter's race. Waiter's race. We have Jazz in the Park at Basin Spring Park, okay. 1 through 5 on uh, Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. The Carnegie Library is showing the movie Chocolat on Friday evening. We have Entheos Art Venue doing performances in the park on Friday evening. We also have Sunday closing out the event, the movie Casablanca is being showed by Eureka Springs okay. Downtown Network. Great. So there's a lot going on all four days. And that okay. movie will be shown in Basin <coughs> Park and admission is free. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Wonderful. And Peace, Love, and Cheesecake across the street will sell you snacks and refreshments for the movie. Okay. okay. Good, Good deal. Well, we're going to have you guys come back later on because we've got a table set up with a lot of things, and, and, and I'm waiting for the cheese, not the cheese, but the wine and the uh, chocolate, and also... Martini. 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 We have Martini. three Martini. signature martinis yeah. for the event. Okay. We have the Florentini, the Eiffel Tini, and we have the French Martini today. We're going to make the French. The French we're going to make the okay. French Martini yeah. today, now, and we're, we're going to try a Bordeaux wine as well with the chocolate espresso creme de pots. Will there be uh, vendors around selling berets? Yes. Will they really? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. You can go to Cottage <laughs> Caboodle or Griffin's Roost and get wonderful hats. Okay. Yes. Lovely. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, let's take our first break, and when we come back, will we actually be a second break? We'll be talking with Alexa Pittenger of Eureka Massage and Wellness Therapy, and we're going to be talking about what she does, and she's also got brought some frogs with her. We'll find out what that's all about. Stay with us. You're watching 726 right here in Harrison, Arkansas.